You know you got what you wanted when you gave me the news You told me you were leaving, you gave me the blues But that's okay, be on your way Cause I'm sick of all your scheming I, I, I should have known better, I just couldn't see It's almost like a spell that you put on me I thought you'd fly right if I just wait But I seen the light just a little too late And now I'm never gonna love nobody again Cause I'm through a demon Well, I gave you a heart so true I thought that you were the one You know my days were filled with hopes and dreams But now I ain't got none But when I knew when I met you about your past Hi there! I am doing another requested video for the Nashville Boogie. Um, I kind of felt like that my last video was very 60s influenced and that's kind of how I'm feeling this event even though I know I probably won't be wearing many 60s clothing or much 60s clothing but a lot of people were asking about uh, looks kind of inspired by pinup girls like the old west style pinup girls by Gil Elvgren. There were quite a few little cowgirls that he created as well as a few of the other pinup illustrations and then someone specifically requested sort of a western inspired retro look. So what I'm going to do is do something that's sort of loosely inspired by Dale Evans. I feel like she wore like a center parted um, kind of low maintenance hairstyle many many times. So that's what I'm doing right now. I slept on foam rollers last night and this particular style is not going to be a literal translation of a style. I, I tend to look at photos a lot and really try to base my styles or do as similar a style to that photo as possible with my hair type. However, this time it's just going to be very loosely inspired by that. Um, what I did is I um, pin curled my bangs away from each other into two little sort of curls on my forehead and I'm not um, going to keep them like that. We're just going to kind of work them into the style as we go. Uh, but the rest of my hair is definitely going to be tighter curls. I just recently got my hair cut, so thankfully it is now to my shoulders and I can do a lot more with it and it will last a lot longer in this horrible humidity that we have here in Memphis. Um, but I did foam rollers last night and I slept on these, so they're going to be nice and curly. I sprayed each section individually and as you'll see, I rolled my hair on this side of the part, parted it in the middle, eh, somewhat. Um, rolled it on this side of the part, on this side of the part, and kept the crown section back here flat. That's sort of the going uh, setting pattern for any type of vintage style, especially inspired by the 40s and 50s. So that's what we're going to do now. The cool thing about this is because of the flat crown, it's going to be perfect to perch a cowboy hat on if you are a hat wearer. Um, the cowboy hat will sort of just provide a round point of interest right here, which was very, very... Um, you know, authentically vintage as far as the way the gals wore their hats back then. I do not have a cowboy hat and I will not be wearing one because it's not, you know, it's not really me. I haven't, um, haven't really ever been a hat wearer. I love hats and I, I want to be one, <laughs> but I have never been a hat wearer. And whenever I'm wearing a hat, I'm usually kind of miserable. So I'm not going to be wearing a hat much, but I'll show you other options as well. You don't have to wear a hat with this style because I won't be but I do like a center parted vintage curly hairstyle, so that's what we're doing today. And I'm really excited about the boogie. I know that a lot of you are going to Viva next week, and that's going to be exciting. Um, I have placed a playlist, uh, a link to my playlist, as well as my packing video on my blog. I will post it below because I know a lot of you are going to be going next week, and I just want to make sure that you are um, prepared for that because usually I post a lot of Viva videos every year, but even last year I knew I wasn't going to be going this year, so I went ahead and kind of told my viewers there will not be any Viva videos this year. Stick on my teeth. No. Um, that there won't be any Viva videos this year, so. Um, I've gone ahead and posted all of my Viva videos in one playlist, so that is linkable through this blog entry below, as is the, um, the video for the packing itself. And then, you know, or you could just go here on YouTube and look up that playlist. It'll just be like VLV videos or something like that. It's a public playlist, so no trouble. And I'm just going to scratch through these curls now that I've released them. I can already tell by the way they took that they're going to be nice and soft. They're not going to be quite as curly as I thought. However, it should still be a pretty authentic style just simply because of the way in which we set it. So all I'm going to do is going to be really simple. You don't want really elaborate hairstyles for events I don't think because then you know it takes kind of the fun away. 
Um, so what I'm going to do is just run my brush through it. I'm actually going to use my powder, my paddle brush for this. This is my Denman paddle brush. And I'm going to use that to just break up the curls and any product that I have in it. Now, one of the reasons that my hair didn't take as curly as I wanted it to is because I forgot to put a setting lotion on it. So if I had put my Motions Foaming Wrap Lotion on or another setting lotion, it probably would have had a much curlier look. I know y'all are thinking curlier than that, but it's not going to be that curly after I brush it. All right, so now you've got a nice little poodle do. Got a lot of frizz going on, which that's... That's what we want, actually. And then what I'm gonna do is take my trusty Denman styling brush. This is the hard bristle Denman brush that everybody uses. It's about $9 at Sally Beauty, and it's absolutely fantastic. It's the best brush in the world for retro sets. So I'm gonna take my hair and I'm going to start with the top. This is also gonna be similar to that Edward Runcie style that I did, oh, Rolf Armstrong style that I did when I first started doing videos. So you see that I'm going to keep that arch there and I'm going to take a bobby pin and just place it there. If you do not have bangs, this section is going to be more voluminous. It's going to be more, um, just more solid looking. Uh, because I have bangs, I have to work with what I have. But if you do not have bangs, when you uh, twist your hair back and push it forward and pin it, you're going to see that you have a lot more volume and it's going to look a lot more, um, like I said, more solid and more full right here. And then I'm going to take the other side and do the same thing. I definitely don't want this going on. Um, that's not horrible, but it's definitely not what I'm after. So what I'm doing is taking each section and pushing it forward and pinning it. My hands are shaky from coffee. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to pull this one back again. And do a little bit more of a bobby pin there and just keep on kind of working this in and spraying it. I want there to be some height here but not a whole lot. And then I'm going to take my finger and put it on the bobby pin and start brushing these curls towards the bottom. You'll see that the cur the if you brush your hair just straight through like this that's what brings in frizz but brushing your hand hair against your hand is what brings in the curl. And see like those are some good curls right there so I want to keep those and I'm just going to do the same thing in the back okay so you can do it like this you can keep it like that if you want to if your hair is longer it's just going to look a little less you know young and a little girly all right and then what I'm going to do is take my side combs I used these in my last video as well I love these things so much so what I'm going to do is take these and push up towards where I place the pin and then I'm going to slip the comb into that spot and push forward to give it some more volume. That's going to make this whole section here look a lot more solid. And I'll do the same thing to the other side. Push up and then in. So you'll want to take your fine tooth comb, if you can find one. I can't find one. And just kind of push it up into this area here, lift it a little bit and spray it. All of that work is going to solidify this whole area and make it look a lot more polished. Okay, so I'm pretty happy with that. And then I'm gonna take this whole side section here and I'm just gonna sort of pull it around the back of where the combs are. I want it to kind of do this. So I'm going to Frizz it out a little first, and then I'm going to take individual sections like this section here, and I'm going to brush it forward like that. See? And then that side is done. I'm going to go ahead and spray it really well. And do the same thing to this other side. And then just make sure the back is nice and flat so it'll support your hat if you decide you want to wear a hat. So just try to make sure that these two arches are somewhat similar. They don't have to be exact, but you know, you're, you know what you're going for. You're going for symmetry. So here is the finished style. I'm going to go ahead and show you the back. It should look okay. Hopefully it does. And I can kind of feel it and see where it needs to be fixed a little bit, but 
That is a Dale Evans inspired sort of 1940s western hairstyle that would have been perfect to wear with a hat. Oh, this is similar to styles that I've done in the past. However, if you're thinking in terms of like styles that are sort of like western friendly, cowgirl friendly, sometimes you don't really think about them just by looking at other videos. When you see them placed in that specific setting, sometimes it makes it easier to kind of imagine it. Um, so hopefully this helps you a little bit. Um, I am going to place a flower clip in it. I'm going to be doing a review video today for Bell Blossoms. As you know, I have been an advocate and friend of Heather of Bell Blossoms for many, many, many years. Um, my whole life, basically, I've been her friend. And she started doing Bell Blossoms back in 2009 or, yeah, 2009, um, maybe 2008. And um, I started to promote her videos on my channel. However, she took some time off from her. She had a Blossom of the Month Club where she would send you out blossoms and she's reinstated that. Um, I think she took some time off because she had another baby. Um, so this is, she had the baby last year. So she's kind of back on the, back in the game and she wanted um, to show you some of the things that she ha is doing now. So I wanted to do that as well. This clip I absolutely love. This is a, one of her custom daisies where you can add an image to the inside. The image is actually a little cowgirl image, western image, so I'm going to put that on with this style because I love it. And uh, yeah, I'll come back in a minute. We'll do a full Bell Blossoms review and uh, hopefully you guys will enjoy it. I just could see It's almost like a spell that you put on me I thought you'd die right If I just wait but I seen the light just a little too late And now I'm never gonna love nobody again Cause I'm through 